The Holy Father is denouncing the way new technologies make it easier for people to change gender, saying they jeopardize the creation of new life. Francis made the comments today to the Pontifical Academy for Life, the Vatican's bioethics advisory board. Meanwhile, the church is continuing its efforts to help protect children from sexual predators online. They did this at a first-of-its-kind conference. It brought together leaders in government, technology, and politics from all around the world. We go now to Rome's Pontifical Gregorian University, where the Child Dignity in the Digital World Conference is wrapping up. Jacqueline Boucher, Microsoft's Chief Online Safety Officer, joins us. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. What is the focus of this Congress, as they're calling it? It's about child safety and child dignity in the digital world. It's primarily about preventing the spread of child sexual exploitation and abuse material online, but it's also dealing with child abuse issues more broadly in the offline world as well. And what are you hearing uh, from other developers that they're doing to protect minors? And then Specifically, what is Microsoft doing? We are focused on creating technology, putting in place procedures and policies and practices to govern our own services, to make sure that we're educating others, and to make sure that we're partnering with others. So what does that mean specifically for a child who goes on to, say, MSN? Are they going to be able, can they go to child pornography or child uh, sex trading sites? How does that work? It's very, very difficult, in my opinion. I personally have never stumbled on child sexual exploitation and abuse material, and that's a good thing. But we have practices in place where we monitor our services. We have content moderation efforts. So if someone reports inappropriate or illegal content to us, we are able to address it and close an account of a person on one of our services. So it's about technology being employed to look for this material, to remove this material, and to report this illegal material to the authorities. And so why a Congress? Is this to bring together people in the community to come up with better or different solutions? And why is it being held at the Pontifical Gregorian University? That's what makes this event so unique. I really do think it is a landmark event. So I can tell you that the technology companies work together to prevent the spread and to eradicate the spread of this material online. There are social workers that work together. The public health sector works together. The civil society works together. Academics work together. Even governments work together. But the unique feature of this organization and this Congress is that all of those groups are coming together. So we're talking amongst ourselves, not just between ourselves. Very helpful. Jacqueline Boucher, thank you so much for sharing your time at this Congress and enjoy Rome. Chief Online Safety Officer at Microsoft. Thank you.